Good afternoon, it's March the 6th, 2024 and today I'm going to be taking a look at the proposals in the upcoming referendum due to take place on March the 8th, 2024 here in the Republic of Ireland. So I'm here on the Electoral Commission's uh, website and there are two proposed amend amendments, the Family Amendment and the Care Amendment. So firstly, the Family Amendment, the proposal involves an insertion of additional text and the deletion of text as well. So insertion of additional text to Article 41, Section 1, Subsection 1 and then deleting text from Article 41, Section 3, Subsection 1. So we're inserting this text. The state recognises the family, whether founded on marriage or other durable relationships. And then, of course, we're deleting this part. We're proposing to delete this text here which would signify that the family is founded on marriage. Marriage is on which the family is founded. So we're deleting that. Now, in relation to this here, whether founded on marriage or other durable relationships, the difference between these two um, is that you know when you're in a marriage, you know when you're not in a marriage, when does a durable relationship um, start? When does it end? Um, these are the questions that um, come to mind when I read this material. Um, and from what I understand, um, no very um, detailed definition of this concept of a durable relationship has actually been given. In fact, it'll be up to the courts to decide with time what this means now that um, raises um, a number of questions in my mind um, as to the suitability of sort of very vague um, texts like this appearing in the constitution because do the people really know what they're voting for if they don't know what this concept means it can have massive knock-ons for you know various um other um areas of the law i mean constitutional law um is very very important and indeed um law um passed by the Oireachtas can be um challenged in the courts and if something doesn't line up with the constitution it can be argued that it is unconstitutional so what does this mean durable relationships again certain attempts have been made to um to give i suppose a definition of this but i have not been able to see a very convincingly um detailed definition of what this means for example um can you be in more than one durable relationship i mean it says here and i'll go back to show you durable relationships is it possible for someone to be in multiple durable relationships? Um, is it possible for someone to be married and be in multiple durable relationships? These are the questions that I would ask myself. Um, so yeah, and also just an interesting point and an observation here that I made is that <coughs> it says um, the insertion of additional text up here and then the deletion of text here. However, where it says by deleting text shown here, it doesn't actually specify um, that they're adding text here in this heading, which is an interesting um, thing, I suppose. Proposed to change Article 41, Section 1, Subsection 1 text in bold. Proposed to change Article 41, Section 1, Subsection 1 text in bold. This text did not exist before it is a completely new insertion so i suppose you're changing the article by adding text but just the the interesting i suppose it's a difference that i saw was that they're specifying down here that they're deleting but you know they don't specify in this i suppose it's a subheading um 
that they're adding. So that's just something that I that I saw. Okay, so in relation to the care amendment, um, they're asking the people um, in the referendum to remove two sections and then to add this new section. Um, so the current article 41 section 2 subsection 1 says in particular the state recognises that by her life within the home woman gives to the state a support without which the common good cannot be achieved now this um, statement here um, this text here it's very contentious text um, and it has been argued that it's sexist to a degree and that has been used and, and outdated and stuff like that and that has been used as a sort of a platform as to why um, it needs to be changed now um, and particularly by her life within the, the home referring to the woman um, this is contentious um, text and it is certain you know, a certain amount of argumentation has been conducted regarding this. Um, however, a very um, interesting video um, published by Grip Media, the Supreme Court judge, um, I believe her name is Marie and her surname is Baker, um, essentially says that the Constitution does not say that a woman's place is in the home. I'll play a little bit and here. I think it's important when we're beginning this campaign to, to remind people what 41.2.1 says. It says in particular, and that's in the light of the protection for the family, the state recognizes that by her life within the home, woman gives to the state a support without which the common good cannot be achieved. And the case law of the Supreme Court is quite clear that that doesn't mean women's place is in the home. It says that the work that women do provides an important protection and tool and support to society and to the common good. It goes on then to say that in the light of that support, the state shall therefore endeavor to ensure that mothers shall not be obliged by economic necessity to engage in labor to the neglect of their duties in the home. That's a statement of intent. It's not a statement of law. It's a statement of intent by the state that it will endeavour or try to ensure that mothers don't, by reason of economic necessity, um, have to go out to work, essentially, outside the home. The proposal is to change the entire of those two paragraphs and to delete both of them and replace it with what is called... In, 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 in the texts around this and more gender neutral uh, phraseology in the constitution. So, um, as you've seen here, we have competing ideas as to what um, this means, you know, different perspectives on this idea um, and on this text. So the um, the proposed replacement for these two um, subsections, I suppose they would be called, um, the proposed um, uh, replacement is the state recognises that the provision of care by members of a family to one another by reason of the bonds that exist among them gives to society a support without which the common good cannot be achieved and shall strive to support such provision. So we're changing. Um, we are. What are we doing here? Is the question. What are we trying to signify with this change? That it is not only women, that it is members of a family that oftentimes provide care to one another and that the state, I suppose, recognises this. So we're removing the reference to the woman within the home and 
the woman giving to the state his support and as um, was uh, described in the previous clip replacing that with um, a gender neutral um, passage of text now a difference here that um, I noticed was that it replaces I suppose and gives a sort of a gender neutral um, responsibility to you know by members of a family it introduces the gender neutrality and then in terms of giving it this care gives to society a support without which the common good cannot be achieved up here it says that woman and you know at present it says woman gives to the state a support without which the common good cannot be achieved so we have near identical text here being borrowed however the word state has been replaced with society so there's an observation and then down here we have a striving to support versus We have a striving to support versus an endeavour to ensure, which is featured here. So the state at present shall endeavour to ensure. However, it is proposed that the state shall strive to support. Now, just from i suppose how these two sound i think that the current sounds a little bit stronger um striving to support sounds sort of it just sounds like a weaker presentation and i mean they've borrowed text you know they've borrowed certain text from the current so what is this change about? Why couldn't they, I suppose, borrow the same language that they used before? That is a question that I ask myself. Why couldn't they use the same language as before? What was wrong with the same language um, that they used before? And I'm talking about before because I would imagine if the polls are accurate, it will be the case that... Um, these two um, proposals are going to be um, accepted by the population. So um, there are just a few um, thoughts that I've had. And um, listen, you could go on tangents with regards to, you know, anything I've said here. You can just go off down rabbit holes and why this, why that, you know, looking at specific kind of aspects of every sentence here in the current constitution and in the proposed amendments you could break it down and literally have discussions <laughs> on each of them so here are just a few ideas and um, a few thoughts thanks very much